till I wear the crown Good afternoon. Hello. How do you know it's afternoon? You're good. probably watching probably this evening. in the afternoon. Probably or evening. the evening. So good morning, evening, afternoon, night. Yes. Um, good everything, basically. I hope you're all well. Um, you haven't seen a YouTube video for us in the last few days. <laughs> um, I didn't get injured, but I had like a little bit of a niggle. Sort of injured. Uh, yeah. Basically, um, in the gym, we didn't show the session, did we? But no. we did a little bit of like... Um, well, it was kind of from the previous session with the yoga, wasn't it, as well? So Yeah, so what happened? On the last set of yoga, you'll see that my traps weren't really up as much as what they should be. Um, and it felt alright going home, I felt fine. Um, and the next day, we did a little bit of like a um, back... Uh, well, no, a grip and kind of upper back accessory type workout uh, with some hamstrings uh, hamstrings were fine we did some bear hug deadlifts um, we literally just moved on to some rows um, I was just lying against the bench on an incline 20 kilo dumbbell 45 pounds um, just rowing them on on the third rep like my rhomboids just completely seized up um, I couldn't move my neck like this was as much as I could move it um, and it was just really just because like everything was seized up in my upper back so I went to see my massage therapist Nicola and she just kind of massaged through everything she's done some kind of cupping and it's feeling so much better it's still not perfect yet um, but like I can move without pain and um, I just can't kind of go to my full range of motion yet but considering two days ago I could not like do this like um, I feel a lot better so it's not like a major injury it's just like we've had a few days rest and a lot of hot and colds and things like that just kind of uh, make sure that we just nip it in the bud and we don't train through it and it keeps coming back and coming back and coming back like it's just better to yeah, so get rid <laughs> Yeah, the training's been adjusted as well, so we just took the rest of the week off. Um, and I was kind of like debating whether to do this at the start of this sort of... Um, it's like kind of a prep before the prep, isn't it? It's not really the proper end uh, phase, but because we, we had 17 weeks to start, didn't we? So it's kind of like a phase before the phase, but obviously all to all's wills. But I was kind of debating of whether to do what I'm going to do now in the first place. It was kind of like sort of 55% one end up doing 45% that so it's probably been a good thing to be honest that this has happened because yeah. I think this is now looking at it is a better way of doing it looking at last year's world's strongest woman prep there was eight and a half weeks of actual like events um, before that was more sort of along the lines of gym lifting and it can be especially when you're that strong and obviously you're you know you're kind of peaking there in terms of your strength and at a really high level it's very easy to get injured so that is like i've said before is probably the biggest threat in my opinion um to a losing the competition is you know getting injured getting sick something like that so her not being at her best so the the idea with this next phase now is is to just make it i've called it the bulletproof phase basically just make everything bulletproof so less chance of getting these injuries um you know you can't just say oh it's it's uh, a freak thing or whatever or you, you've not made a mistake with it if you get injured because you know it's a high risk for injury in this sport there's definitely a reason why you get every injury um on at least 99 percent of the time so we've got to address that um you know strengthen all the areas up and there's certain things like on the deadlift like looking over the footage she was very much giving way in terms of the hamstrings and losing position. Um, did off off grip the bar and, uh, and it, it was skew with, but you know we can see the, that the hamstrings needs to be brought up, the lower back needs to be brought up. Um, so certain areas are really going to be smashing, um, and it's going to be kind of like a bodybuilding type thing, like focusing specifically on certain muscle groups. But obviously we're really looking for injury prevention and just strengthening those going into the actual proper prep which this time 
say so last time it was eight weeks, which is actually a kind of a long time. Like it's not as short as, especially Becca usually does things twice a week during those kind of phases. So there's a lot of sessions in there. This one will be 10. So I think that is probably about perfect. I don't think we need to be doing events at sort of 15, 16 weeks out. You're just going to end up smashed a bit, aren't you? Because I mean, we're forced to make them lighter anyway. Like, and you can go in probably. I mean, how many yokes could you? Would you need to do to do a 300 kilo yoke? I mean, not many. Well, none really. Probably none. I'd yeah. be able to go straight into a 300 kilo on my first session. I think it just probably won't be as quick. Yeah. You know, to do it quick, you probably need three sessions or something. So it's not like we need to be. You're quite good at the events, aren't you? It's if there's any kind of weaknesses. It's just maybe certain muscle groups, the hips, the hamstrings, things like this. Maybe yeah. just need to be brought up a little bit more. And then the technique will come. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be about four or five weeks now of just kind of like bodybuilding type sessions. Probably just this month. Yeah, we probably won't film every single session because I will be training six times a week. Or uh, we might kind of train one of each, uh, film one of each session. Um every week and upload free a week because they will be very very similar um, and yeah it's going to be exciting to kind of do a little bit of a different type of training because two of my three kind of sessions that will be rotating will be in the gym that's literally five minutes down the road from me so I can literally be home for like half six every night and have like a proper evening probably to myself. Like earlier than that yeah but half six is kind of like the, the worst case scenario type probably, thing. Probably, yeah, probably six um, or that, or earlier maybe. So it's going to be good to have like a little bit of chill time as well before bed uh, because that's one thing that I do kind of struggle with is coming home from training at like nine, half nine and then having to eat and then try and switch off and get to bed and, and then up at half five, like it's six o'clock in the morning. So it'd be nice to have like that little bit of extra chill. Especially training six days a week. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that things go well I'm feeling like I'm in a good position um, we've got the time now to lay the groundwork and then we are going to go into a prep to retain the title yeah so what about today then so we've done today's workout yeah um, this is afterwards you gonna, you're gonna but, um, this I'll before, pretend but. that I haven't done it no, just so today I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> how, so, did, how did you? Um, I know you didn't enjoy it, so I'm not going to say how did you enjoy it. But what did you think of it? Um, it was very hamstring dominant. But one thing is, you might see kind of this come across a little bit on on videos. I still get a lot of anxiety in commercial gyms, like I do. It's and harder in that even, gym, isn't it? Yeah, and that gym, I just, in a strong run gym, I don't get that anxiety because I know that everybody knows who I am and, and that if I'm doing some weird and wonderful exercises, they're like, do you know what, go, like, do what you're We're thinking. targeting it's, weird events, yeah, aren't we, really? Like, so you've got to do some weird things. It's working, you're the world's strongest woman, like go ahead but then when you go to a commercial gym you kind of you're doing like exercises that might not be the norm to other people or just lifting more weights yeah, than the and then they don't know who you are or what you're doing and why you've got a just, camera and it makes me just feel like really anxious yeah. um so i do tend to like feel like i'm gonna get a panic attack which i need to kind of overcome and i suppose it happens to everybody and like just know that it still happens to me and like I'm the world's strongest woman I still get gym anxiety going into the gym and you've just got to just do your best and kind of get through it as best you can so I did kind of get a little bit of anxiety today and I'm hoping that that kind of eases as we get back in the gym because I've had the pleasure of training at Dedicated um, for a lot of my last kind of few months of training one or two sessions a week are going to be yeah. the press so that would be nice um so yeah i just need to kind of get well not get rid of my anxiety but kind of overcome it a little bit it's always going to be there probably isn't it yeah. for you um you've obviously been through a lot in the past and you can't be just completely you know normal or whatever i mean there's no normal is there but you know it's just you got to manage it haven't you and um 
Yeah, it's just something, say dedicated, you're absolutely fine now, which wasn't always the case. I mean, no. you're way, way better than, you have come on a hell of a lot since I first know you. I mean, at first it was literally like you were thinking, you know, people are going to get you in the street and, and things like that and always lock, locking the doors, and which we do because it's sensible, obviously, but, you know, you were kind of like, you were way, way worse, weren't you? Uh, always having nightmares all the time, like things like that. Um, but nowadays yeah. it's it's not that way really is it like you just you do have anxiety but it's it's a lot better and I think being in the position that I'm in now has massively helped me as well because like I'm a lot more used to public speaking and I'm getting to be more confident in myself and who I am like if somebody in the gym then did say something to me like oh why the hell are you doing that or or comment about my appearance I can literally just turn around and be like I'm the world's strongest woman what have you achieved in your life like do you know what I mean it's I've got that to kind of yeah to kind of almost fall back on like it's it is hard but we just keep I mean nobody's really on. like that are they like no. for the most but I have so, had that in the It has before. happened with has idiots happened. like that don't you know, they're just idiots, aren't they? Most of them are young kids, aren't they? They don't even yeah. understand like anything but like yeah. Mm. The joys. Anyway, tonight's session <laughs> has got a lot of hamstrings in it. Um and probably some more hamstrings. <laughs> probably some more hamstrings. Maybe a little bit of lower hamstrings back and glutes. From uh, a little bit of them in there, but yeah, <laughs> hell of a lot of hamstrings. That is the major key focus for all of this kind of workout, definitely. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything that you want me to do a video on, please let me know in the comments below. I do not mind doing like a, a Rebecca Talks type segment. Um, so we should anything, do some talks on other things. Yeah. So if there's anything that you want me to talk about, whether it be like how I've overcome my gym anxiety or um, how like we kind of Paul programmed me and like. Um, I went and did like my weight loss and stuff where I lost nine stone, um, what I take to the gym, competition mentality, anything like that, just let me know and I will try and do a video on it for you. But for now, just enjoy the video, please like and share and subscribe and have a good day. Is that your like, be great thing, go out and be great thing like Brian, but your version? Yeah. Just have a good day. Have a good day. That's terrible. <laughs> I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly I've been living in my own head constantly Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy Wait, all these thoughts are too negative I don't wanna get lost in the sedative Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win I'll take a stab, I wanna chase a bag I want a way I can change all the things I lack I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch I just wanna break these chains I was destined for greatness True to myself, I never fake it See no many ones that are so they get famous And when I say the truth, most really can't take it In spite of everything I've been through, I'ma make it Fake friends, but I'm a downfall, it's toxic Day one, started the outlaws for profit Now all I do is write verses, no talking All I do is put the work in, no option This was everything I ever wanted Created a legacy, all for me, just being honest And the fake ones hate, but it's all to no avail They wanna see me lose, but you know I never fail
never try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's, it's like, like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, so I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me